Hello everyone, this is Parag and today we are going to analyze a beam. Okay. So this video is give brief introduction about Stratpro and uh, analysis of the beam. Here a new project that is projectors. In projectar here always if you wanted to make a new project though you wanted to click on this new project. Okay. Here a head topic if there is something updates come from the Stratpro then you wanted you can get a concern about all this help topic and if there is any major problem then you can uh, go to help topics and you gain you get uh, all the knowledge. Now your license configuration here all Indian codes. Um, that's when the international codes are here which are according to them you can analyze or design the structure now uh, if you connected to internet or so when the internet connection you have then there is a stat news that means the latest news you get in this blocks here are the recent files you can view each and every time and if you click any file then the image snap is shown here okay now First of all, I wanted to uh, tell you that each and my each and every lecture is going to be the design with the Indian design course. Okay, not with a, uh, another course. So my first lecture is on uh, beam design, beam analysis. Sorry, beam analysis. So first we have to go for the new project. Click on this. Then the new the such a tab is open. So click on this space. I give the name is as uh, what can it beam analysis beam A and analysis okay uh, I wanted to save it here okay in it is the location is here you save in that uh, particular format uh, always we use a meter and kilonewton actually um, our engineering is uh, normally dealing with the meter and kilonewton not fruit and inches okay so this is uh, better to way understand so we use the meter and kilonewton click the next okay always click at the add beam okay actually uh, in this software beam is also known as beam but column is also known as beam okay so this is the one of the basic uh, um, that means a somewhat correction in this software so finish this software is normally used for design a con column beam um, not in this software this software is uh, cannot design the staircase and slab okay so this one one of the very uh, drawbacks of this software <laughs> and here some advanced slab design is tab but it is not used uh, ram connection is used for the connection bolted and welded connection so it is very important now first of all this is what uh, planes isometric plane top face front face plus x plus y plus minus y minus z all the x direction all the views you can see here but always isometric and this plus z plane is also used okay now here a tab the, this is cross sign is show is used for the making up uh, falling falling the beam or making the beam in this uh, grid pattern also um, if uh, to example I wanted to provide you such a point I have create here okay after that I press X K but after that I wanted to make a beam then this arrow is doesn't come again so for to take the arrow once again so here is a grid pattern snap grid node click as off and again click as on so this pattern this uh, cross is come once again okay so you can make the points like this by escape uh, pressing escape button the arrow get uh, cancelled now here you see that well, this is called as a grid line. I am going to switch off this grid line. Now the point dotted black point shows that it is a node. Okay, node means the that at where you is one of the type of junction here for this um, order structure I made here. Okay, and here is called as a beam. Okay, each and every time for, for this software. Now we are going to uh, if you wanted to make delete this select all by right clicking by left clicking the mouse and click the press the button as a delete. Okay, so and get deleted now my lecture is to do analysis of beam so we make what beam beam here actually this uh, if your beam is of uh, 8.5 uh, meter length so you have to edit this uh, grid pattern along x direction so go edit here so go to uh, spacing is 0.5 okay along x direction 0.5 and here we have okay but you have to 8 meter so we have to make it large okay like this okay now 
we are having the 8.5 meter long beam okay so i play press the point here i am not clicking i am not going to click anywhere in this point i am just clicking at first point and end point here okay after all that i have click right here and going to finish that grid pattern after that this is my 8.5 grid line but after uh, um, this total beam is uh, contain the some some variation of load loads at some particular distances so i click i wanted to provide this variation at particular uh, um, load so for that you have to provide actually here a supports and b support here also c and d support is uh, i wanted to provide it so rightly go to the insert node okay i wanted to provide uh, <clears throat> two nodes at equal distance uh, yeah in this node then you have to click the two nodes if i wanted to make number of nodes that means what you wanted a three node four nodes so make the give the value of n as three and q and click as a add n nodes okay this is one of the portion now if you wanted to make the at certain distances like 3.15 okay 7.993 at certain distances so you wanted to provide the value and add new point okay so there is a point has been created if you wanted to make the point at the center then click on add midpoint so the point has been created at the center now i, I wanted to provide the three points okay this is my first lecture so and it is very better to be understand so i wanted to make the three points in the beam and at end point so here the point is considered one two three four five at particular distance and click on ok so there is a point has been created now it is my first step to create the geometry of the beam after all here the modeling portion modeling portion is used to analyze to give the dimensional to give the loading and all the matters okay for that you have to go to the general property after going to the journal here's a tab is open don't make don't uh, <coughs> delete don't close this tab after a, a total work i wanted to what i do in this after going to journal here the property tab is open this is the one property tab here okay this is a bolder folded form is shown the property go into the property form go to the define here i give the size to the uh, beam now i wanted to provide a rectangular size of point of 23 by point of 23 okay point of truth here a concrete material i am i am going to use the concrete material and i add this point now uh, remember one thing assign is means to give here the property you have to give into the beam okay this one is the portion is known as the assign portion for that i know i wanted to provide this size to this that means this concrete material with uh, this rent this size i wanted to provide to this beam so first of all i select whole beam okay and here assign to selected beam and click on assign so it get assigned but if i wanted to assign with the help of this mouse button okay so you just click on use cursor to assign then it assign also here another beams are not present okay to use the you um, that means to consume your time you can clear assign to you so whole structure has been assigned you did not want it to get select the beam okay so i am going to use assign to cursor right now this is my favorite so first second third fourth okay and go to the beam check it out yes everything is created go to the node cursor check it out yeah one two three four four span with the five supports all as created given dimension now if you wanted to see this uh, at the exactly the size is giving uh, coming not so go to 3d rendering and here the beam is to be created okay it gets the size now after that i wanted to provide supports create supports fix mina or normal fix support pin means our hinge support go to the add click this use cursor here also always you have to select this first of all uh, you have to go to the mode cursor here select all modes okay then assign to selected node yes okay so he there are assigned to all the properties okay like this now you have to provide load combination go to the load case details add you have to create you have the, the loading type is dead load so i type is a dead 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 load okay so add uh, actually adding only dead load here going to add okay so i wanted to remember uniform for let me udl minus because of y direction is downward direction minus of 10 kilonewton okay add minus of uh, 6 kilonewton add close 
then again go to the add here then go to the um, what can i say member load but this is linear varying i wanted to provide this load is uh, nothing but minus of 6 add close so i'm going to assign this use class to assign this one here after selecting this this one here after selecting this this one here okay now here also required so i am going to give this to here okay so now after of that you wanted to see the <coughs> what can i say the dimension so here's your dimension tab select this display so here all dimension has been displayed okay this is a equal distance because being provided in the end times with the equal span of time so the support is the node is created are on the equal spacing distances now we have to analyze the structure after analyzing we get the sum after analyzing the structure we get the bending moment, uh, bending moments okay some deflection is here and animation portions okay so for that you go to analysis and play go into all add close go to analyze run analysis set it takes some times okay one warning it is nothing required done okay after all that going to the error is not required if there is a one error then or any error there is always zero errors required in the analysis so go to the post processing click ok then go to the results then here is a view value bim result click each and every one portion is here and I'm not okay 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 close after all that the here's a okay now this value we have to remember the deflection press the control button and uh, rotate that uh, wheelie on uh, of the mouse okay after that you get some of the deflection here okay okay this one is like that so this is very uh, looking good <laughs> so in maximum deflection okay after that i want to get switch off this button now i want the bending moment at z direction i click on this same process press control button and rotate that mouse wheel button so you get all the value okay analysis is required for a design actually normally okay so this is all movements value share force at z direction share force as x direction okay such as oh this is very pretty cool <laughs> so, okay so like this each and every value is to be created here okay so if you wanted to make the report of this point so go to the report click take all these points here click ok and here next next page you get all nodes portion okay like this now you wanted to animate this portion okay section deflection air deflection whatever you wanted to animate okay number of frames here apply okay mm, no section displacement apply okay so this one is pretty cool animation looking dj dance so hope you enjoyed this video guys next time we are going to learn about how to analyze the frame structure so thank you for watching my tutorial and uh, go to my website uh, blog www.civilnotes.blogspot.com here notes is double s at the end so thank you for watching my tutorial bye bye